have you fallen out with Tony? Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where here we're going to tell you all the things you might know or might not know or want to know. We're going to reveal some secrets in this video but just have a, a bit of a one-to-one -one and it's going to be a fun one basically. Well that rhymed. Uh, but we're going to take the RS3 out because as you know at the moment this is the only car in my garage. I'm going to give you an update on what's going on with my car situation as well because there's been so much I've ordered this and I've ordered this and we've still got this at the moment but that's all to come in this video. So I just got chucked out of that car park, never mind, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. We're just going to, what I wanted to do was actually walk around the RS3, it's a lovely setting but that, that is no longer, we're not allowed to do that. He was not happy. So like I say, we're gonna answer so many questions in this video that I've kind of never spoken about before. But the first thing, and the first kind of question was, what is gonna be happening with your RS3? This car is turning into an ABT car. It's gonna be an RS3R, so it's not gonna be an RS3 much longer. That's gonna be happening fairly shortly. In a couple of weeks, it's gonna get dropped off and then it's gonna be happening. Um, so that is all to come. It is a bit crazy, but I just think you need to do something different. We've seen a million things on the same cars. Not really kept cars this long. Um, this is quite long for me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, really good and when it's got the kit on it, it will be silly horsepower, it'll have silly wheels on it, and it will just look insane. So what we're gonna do, jump in and answer these questions, which are, they're interesting. So let's have a drive. Right, here we go. Let's get some questions answered, as well as obviously my health. Um, all of that is gonna come in the video that we filmed with an exciting co collaboration in Sardinia. Um, so yeah, that will all come soon. Very deep video, but it's, uh, it's coming soon. Um, and then first things first, someone has asked me, how did I get such an early 2023 Range Rover Sport? Well, I don't know really. I just was a normal guy, went into a dealership, put an order in. Um, and then I'm told that it is coming in, hopefully, December. I mean, I'm told it's December, but I've heard there's slight delays of like Meridian sound system and chips and things like that. It might be here in February, March, if delays are delays, but I pray that it's not. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be an incredible car and I cannot wait for the Range Rover Sport. I'd even thought about doing trips to the Nürburgring and it and all sorts and just, yeah, I can't wait to have a wafter basically. Question number two is, what's happening with your garage next year, including C63, etc. Well, as we're on the topic, we might as well have a garage update. Yeah, so the Range Rover Sport, that's the next car coming. Um, and then after that, we have um, C63S, which hopefully um, will be here, well, start of the summer. Um, well, no, not the first, first thing, second, first thing, second, third, like, you know what I mean? Uh, M2 should be here before that, but C63S, yes, that's coming. I get to spec that this month, actually, considering this video is going out in November. Uh, so yeah, I get to spec it soon, and that's kind of like the garage update. So Range Rover Sport, this is going apt, RS3, C63S, which is gonna be insane. I'm gonna live at the drag strip probably, and the M2 as well, which is here in, uh, they say April, but let's see on that front. So, And then also that leads to the next question which someone's put, uh, and I do apologize if I'm not mentioning your names, you know who you are with the questions you put. Uh, what's your next supercar? Well, I've been on the hunt for a cheap supercar, right? So that's been the whole thing which is going on. Then I kind of found the dream house after all my house situation has been a nightmare. So that has been put on hold while I'm kind of moving into my new home. So the supercar hunt has been paused for now while I move into my house. I need to just get priorities right of move into the house, after that, then start doing different things like, you know, uh, different more wild things on my channel. So, and that's, it's not far away. It's like two or three weeks away. Um, I should be moving in. So yeah, it's been a long stressful process, but I found the right place. The mortgage is sorted. Um, and it's been just stressful, but we're, we're very, very close, and uh, I feel that's the biggest life goal. Guys, quickly, this video has kindly been sponsored by Masterworks. I've got something very cool to show you. Let's be honest, we've all wanted to make a bit of money on a car in person, and uh, maybe we flipped a car here and there. And as we know, it's always important to look for opportunities as in these assets. And as we know, this year has been a bit of a bloodbath if we're talking about stocks, if we're talking about crypto, 
you name it, it has been pretty crazy. These collectibles are getting more and more attention, even Goldman Sachs are taking notice. I personally, as you know my background, have always grown up around classic cars and I know all the benefits of investing in a classic car. But after further looking into this, art has really, really surprised me. And it turns out the average piece is selling for 26% more than auction last year. Yes. 26%. So you're probably wondering how do you get into the art game if you're interested? Well, you need to do this with Masterworks and this is not NFTs. What Masterworks do, they break these paintings into shares. So basically you can invest without needing millions and that's basically how I've got involved as well. And as we know, the economy, wow, well, it's been slowing and Masterworks has still been delivering results. And just a few weeks ago, Masterworks sold a painting with a 21.5% return to its investors and it's so popular that there is a waiting list. I love a trick for you guys and you can skip the waiting list by using my link in the description and also in the pinned comment. Go and get started with Masterworks. I'm fully interested in it. It's a game changer. Let's get back to the video. There's a very, actually a very sad comment on my uh, Q&A um, and that is I'm feeling suicidal. What should I do? It's right, first of all, I feel very sorry that you're in that situation. Um, but what I find is I've had the roughest of roughest of rides like this last year and a half. And I always find, um, have close friends around you. Don't be afraid to talk to people. I have really close friends such as James, J.E. He'll just, when I've been having the low point I've had recently, he'll just message me every sort of couple of hours. Hi mate, just checking in, how are you getting on? Um, and if you don't have that person there, always on your case, just reach out to somebody and just say, look, I'm feeling a bit low, it's been a bit rough, and some someone will listen to you. Uh, but also a massive thing which I find um, is exercise. If you could just go out for a half an hour walk or a one hour walk or go to the gym or just do something and have a structure to your day, I feel that makes a world of difference. I would go at sort of early in the morning I've got the, and then I've got the full day ahead of me and I feel motivated for the day. The next question, which has actually been coming up a lot in recent um, sort of Q&As and things like that, and that is, have you fallen out with Tony? Well, no, to answer your question uh, very, very simply. Uh, we haven't fallen out, we are friends. Uh, we talk on the phone every couple of days, etc. Um, and I understand that it's obviously a bit weird that we're not filming and things like that on the channel. Tony's a busy guy um, and he's been very focused on the podcast with Sam, which is flying, um, which is great to see those guys doing so well. Um, so no, the, the answer to your question is uh, we still chat, we talk rubbish about football and motorsport and everything else. And uh, yeah, those guys are busy, you know. He's not only running a car dealership day to day, he um, is obviously doing the podcast of Sam, See Through Glass, as well as other videos as well. And they're traveling, I think they're in America or somewhere coming up, doing all that sort of stuff. So they're busy guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the future, we can get him back on the channel. That'd be great, because those videos, I miss them as well. Um, they were hilarious, but hopefully those will be back but he can't do a million things at once, as well as me being in a million places at once as well. So yeah, it's, uh, I wanted to clear that one up because everyone thinks that we sort of hate each other and we're not friends or whatever, but no, that is 100% uh, not the case. Another question is, why do I always buy black cars? Well, I don't know. It always gets down to a spec and I just choose it. It's really random. Some of them I've not spec myself. I've just bought, but there's sort of been a canceled order and I've got them. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not something I go out and think to do. It's a bit of a bit of a random one. But um, maybe I'll do the C63 and something different. I do think the C63 I will do something different. Um, but to be honest with you, not that I always want to sell my cars, but a resale value of a used black car seems to be well. They seem to sell very quickly. So. I don't know. How do I stay motivated? Well, I have had a rough time, but I stay motivated because I live my life thinking, what would my dad want me to do? And it's, we've got to keep going. There's no, there's no stopping. There's no like, oh, you can't do it, or you can't get that, or you can't do that. I just keep going. I get in the gym, or I do whatever, and I just, but you know what? I'm not listening to this rubbish of someone saying that I can't do it and things like that. And I'm always motivated to film like that. Um, 
I think one thing I do when I film, I get my video done, I upload the video, and what I actually do is I'll just keep an eye on how the video is doing, but I won't be kind of obsessive by it. Do you know what I mean? Like some videos will do worse than others, but I won't be like, oh my God, I can't believe that video didn't do as well as that one. I'll just be like, I'm focused on the next one. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, what you're doing is when I first started YouTube, I used to get wrapped up in the fact that, oh my goodness, this one's not done as well as this one. Um, but I, I think now I'm kind of, I'm always thinking of the next video. So I'll look at comments and then I go, right, people don't like that or they like that. And I go, right, now I've got to film this, this, this and this, but I won't sort of be wrapped up in it. And that's kind of how my little way of uh, keeping motivated. Someone said, do I like the M140i? I think it's a brilliant car. I think it's so, so good. I like all the kind of M cars, really. Um, M3, M4, M140s. M240i, I love them all, so I think they're brilliant cars. So if you're thinking about getting one, get one, um, and you will not regret it. I think you'll have a lot of fun driving them. They're just genuinely great fun to drive and great value for money. Someone has said, what are your thoughts on a C43 AMG? Again, the AMGs are all good. I think there's too much stigma around that, oh, you've got the rubbish one, you've got the 43. I don't believe that. I believe that it's still a fantastic car, and 100%, if you, think that that's the car you want they still look great it's quite hard to tell them differently by from a distance and probably better on fuel but anyway they're a great car i love all amgs after having the a35 a45s etc um I th yeah i'm sure i've never driven a 43 but i'm sure it's a fantastic car so if you're thinking about it you go on lad you enjoy and then the kind of last question really um and something i'll answer is uh, 2023 racing return. And I need to kind of want to know whether I want it. Do you know what I mean? Whether you, I actually want to do it because it's a big commitment going racing. You really have to put your life and soul into it. Um, and I've done it for a lot of years, achieved kind of everything I've personally wanted to do, like do Le Mans and win the races that I wanted to race, win and so blah, blah, blah. Um, so you got to want it. you got to want to like be like, right, well, this year I'm going door to door with someone else and, and stuff. So I just need to work things out. Do you want to be doing that again? And I just need to really sit down, have a little think about what I want to do with the racing um, and obviously sponsorship. You know, these these series are not getting any more cheaper. Honestly, like it's it's really crazy the money that's involved. And that means going out, finding the sponsorship, and I'm already busy enough as it is, because I personally just love making videos. That's just what I love doing. Um, and I feel that racing chapter is kind of a bit done, but if there was the opportunity and there was a sponsorship there, I'd look into it. But for example, if you want to go and do Porsche Carrera Cup these days, I think you need like 350 grand, plus like, I think it's like eight grand a day to drive the car. I mean. It's just silly. Like I might as well just go and buy silly cars on my channel if you're going to do it personally. So I hope that sort of clears that one up. So I hope this has been a fairly informative q and I love doing them now and then um, and catching up with you guys. That's the best bit about it. I love just having a one-to-one -one and just sort of answering your questions. There's lots of content coming up this week. I'm uh, slowly getting back to normal. There's a lot coming up and uh, I can't wait to share it as well as going abroad fairly soon for some very exciting content as well there and then obviously we've got the new house new cars new it's going to be mad but it's going to be really fun at the same time it's been a bit of a weird time the last month or so uh, but good stuff is uh, is coming and I can't wait for you guys uh, to be here for it as well so anyway I hope you've enjoyed it guys thumbs up comments down below and I'll see you for the next one